Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all having a lovely day. So today what I'd like to discuss is an interesting piece of news that I've seen show up in a lot of different places that got linked to me on my Discord that Amazon, which owns Ring, is giving away consumer footage to the police without a warrant. Now I wanted to read through the specific back and forth that Senator Ed Markey had with Amazon and Ring because it, it does reveal a detail that just is not exactly mentioned in the first paragraph or in some cases in the actual article in terms of a lot of the coverage of this particular issue, which I do think will provide a little bit more balance. To be clear, my own personal bias is usually not exactly very pro-Amazon and is usually more pro-privacy so that's going to be where I come from with this video. So when you read about this, you'll often read that Amazon is admitting to giving ring camera footage to police without a warrant or consent. And uh, I just wanted to give a little bit of context to this. And you tell me if you think it's fair or not. So it says here, ring has stated that this is the worst PD in browser PDF reader I've ever used. My God. Anyway, ring has stated that it will not share customer information with law enforcement absent consent, a warrant or an exigent or emergency circumstance. Please explain in detail ring specific internal policies regarding what constitutes an exigent or emergency circumstance. Ring says, as stated in Ring's law enforcement guidelines, Ring reserves the right to respond immediately to urgent law enforcement requests for information in cases involving imminent death or danger or serious physical injury to any person. Emergency disclosure requests must be accompanied by a completed emergency request form. Based on the information provided in the emergency request form and the circumstances described by the officer, Ring makes a good faith determination whether the request meets the well-known standard grounded in federal law that there is an imminent danger of death or serious physical injury to any person requiring disclosure of information without delay. B. How many times has Ring shared a user's recordings with law enforcement because of an exigent or emergency circumstance? So far this year, Ring has provided videos to law enforcement in response to an emergency request only 11 times. In each instance, Ring made a good faith determination that there was an imminent danger of death or serious physical injury to a person requiring disclosure of information without delay. Now, on one hand, it's possible that I've watched too much 24 when I was a kid, but if there is a chance of somebody dying right now, I can understand why you may not want to deal with the process of getting a warrant and everything else. However, when it comes to many of these tech companies, just seeing how they define safety and security when lobbying against right to repair makes me very, very skeptical. So one thing that I've always said is that I would just like you to provide an example. Explain how me getting access to a charge chip affects the security of your computer. Explain how me replacing a backlight fuse affects the security of your computer. Give me one example. And in the past seven, eight years that I've been lobbying on this particular issue, I've never gotten an example. The reason that they don't give an example is because they know, in my opinion, that they are absolutely full of shit and it would be impossible to come up with an example to back their claim. Of course I care about safety. Of course I care about security. Safety and security matter. But there's no actual example because safety and security is not an issue here. Same thing is true here. When they say that there is an immediate, uh, you know, in imminent danger of death or serious physical injury. Okay, that's understandable. Can you give me an example? Can you explain why it is somebody would need access to video or audio footage from a doorbell camera? That, is, again, we're not talking about something like that says, okay, is he in this section of the house or that section of the house? Our sniper knows where to set up in the building across the street to end this hostage negotiation kind of thing. We're talking about, like, they have to file a request form. So there's time involved here. So when you're talking about imminent danger of death or serious injury, it's very weird to me that, again, we're talking about an imminent death or danger, but an emergency disclosure request has to be accompanied by an emergency request form. So when you're talking about imminent death or danger, it's just something's weird here. Like, it doesn't make sense to me that there'd be an imminent d d danger of death. But again, we're stapling together a form and like faxing it and filling it out to get access to a camera. Something seems kind of fishy there. It just doesn't strike me as right. Me personally, if I have a camera that is in my house or my apartment and it is recording, I do not want anybody getting access to anything there without asking me first or getting a warrant. You are, it's my footage. You're either going to ask me for it or you're going to get a warrant. You're not just going to willy-nilly take it from me. That's my preference, which is why I do not use any of these cloud security systems, nor do I use any sort of cloud uh, system that's outside of my particular control when it comes to the security cameras for my residence or for my store. 
because I personally don't like the idea of somebody just being able to reach in there and say, oh, I'm in risk of death or danger. Yeah, we need... No. Especially when you're talking about the fact that these cameras, by default, record audio. And to be clear, I don't have an issue with the camera recording audio. There's a lot of good use to the camera recording audio. Some cameras I have record audio. Some of them don't. It comes in very handy in particular situations. But that is under the assumption that the only person that's going to access that shit is myself or somebody that I give active consent to. Not somebody that willy-nilly just says, ah, oh, there's a danger of death, injury, give us... No, no, I don't like that. Now, if they were able to give examples in the 11 cases where they provided the information, then we'd be able to probably dig into this and go, no, that makes no sense whatsoever, bullshit. Or, yeah, absolutely, they totally should have given that away without a warrant. But in the absence of that information, it really is difficult for me to believe Amazon or trust Amazon. And I think the same is true for a lot of my audience. Now, I, I do still think that that context is necessary. They are not simply just giving away things without a warrant willy-nilly. At the very least, they are giving that reason of imminent danger or death. But again, I just without an example, it's really difficult for me to actually believe you. That's where I land on this, and I'm very curious how you land on this. Would you be open to having a ring doorbell installed in your home or your office? If you did have a ring doorbell installed in your home or office, would you allow the audio recording to be on? Would the audio recording be on be something that you decided to change if you knew that they could just reach in there and give your footage to the authorities without your consent and without a warrant because that they claim that there is an imminent issue of danger or whatever? Um, me personally, I would not install this in my home or my residence. I know I'm giving up on a potential great sponsor, but it's, it's not like sponsors are lining up for this fucking channel anyway at this point. But I personally would not want that shit there unless the recordings are going to a box that I control that they do not have access to. I do not want my recordings accessed by somebody else because then somebody else gets to make the determination as to whether or not they need my consent to give them away to law enforcement or to give away my audio recordings to law enforcement. And that should be something that is decided by one of two people, myself or a judge. That's me. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.